what's up guys sean back with another video and we have dominique lenoy 600 pounds but it's not a my 600 pound life video i mean basically it's the same thing it's an extraordinary people documentary i don't know if they're gonna dive into much of her past like the other show does but all i know is they're probably gonna have more flattering camera angles because typically my 600 pound life goes straight down the barrel baby they look straight up and they are not flattering your size at all but let's see what uh, this Extraordinary People documentary has to offer us. Dominique Lenois is so big, she can't walk or get out of bed. Nobody is sure how much she weighs. Oh god, the pinup pose is crazy. Hold on, watch this. Nobody is sure Where was it? Where was sure it? How much she weighs. <laughs> That's crazy. Why is she posing like that? Just bare chested. Oh, good God. Somebody's paying a lot for that. My buddy's at least. Trapped in her own bed, she is entirely dependent on her six daughters to take care of her. We never had a childhood. She's been bed bound forever. And every day, her health is getting worse. Mother, please come in. I can't breathe. I never saw her walk. Help. With her daughters at breaking point, help is about to arrive. This room is not your future. Your future is out there. One, two, three. Please. Please. We don't take care of your health aggressively. You may die within the next few years. I mean, that's kind of the way it goes. You want to get out of the calorie cell block, you're going to have to do some damn work. Because your bed is going to be where you end up passing away. That's just the sad reality of it. Once you get bed bound, it's very hard to get out of that state. I think my life is finished. My life is over. That's sad. Liberty City, Miami, Florida. In this community of mostly Creole-speaking Haitian immigrants, one family is hiding a big secret. Could you imagine how many damn crawfish she had to pick to get that big? Creoles eat a lot of seafood, right? Like crayfish, stuff like that, crawfish, however you say it. 40-year-old Dominique Lanois has spent the last two years trapped in her small bedroom. Just five feet, five inches tall, she's so big, she can't walk or move around. Yeah, my buddy five, five. Because... You can't go nowhere or near the bed. Lay down every day. Get in the bed. Take shot the bed. It's very hard. Because she's embarrassed by her weight, only a handful of people know how big she's grown. To be fair, you kind of want to hide yourself away from people, but a lot of people aren't going to know just because they're not going to get into her bedroom. Then again, I don't know how many people she's inviting to her bedroom. I don't want to speak for her or how many bodies she's got. But I just know that she probably ain't doing too many slappy happy, make the beast with two backs, stinky twinky, hide the weenie. She probably ain't doing that much of it at 600 pounds. Don't let him see how fat you've become. And her daughters have helped keep her shocking condition a secret. But some people always be like, why they never see my mom? The one that do act, I always be like, it, it's none of your business. Right? Dominique's days are... That's why she's naked all the time. She works for one of those damn phone line things. Where you call, slap your salami. That's what she's doing. Okay, she's just getting into character. I get it. Spent talking to her daughters on the phone and sleeping. She doesn't have a television. Reminders of the world outside are too upsetting. My life is finished. My life is over. No TV? Dominique is entirely dependent on her six daughters. The el Oh, we need to get you a damn TV, lady. Six kids? Oh, you'd have a lot more entertainment outside of that bed if you... Oh, we need to get you a TV ASAP. Oldest girls have spent years cooking and cleaning for their mother. Now it's Gina's turn to take care of mom. Just 14, she has the same dreams as any ordinary teenager. 
dancing is my thing. I love to dance. I like to practice a lot and wish that somebody could just come and take me and be like, you won't be a, a dancer, you won't be a star or something. I don't think Simon Cowell kicks down your door and goes, so you think you can dance, but she definitely learned how to move her hips from her mama because, again, six kids. But Gina's life is far from normal. Ooh. The strawberry shortcake deal, or at least that was my favorite ice cream, that straw. I think it's strawberry shortcake. I can't remember. But that's the best ice cream bar by far. You can fight me about it. While her friends are enjoying the summer, she has to stay indoors. Because today, Gina is giving her mother a bed bath. Mama, you want the water? Ha, ha, ha. Two years ago, Dominique was still able to walk the few short steps to her bathroom. Now her legs can't bear her weight, and she's completely immobile. She do everything on the bed, use the restroom, do everything on the bed. Unless Gina washes her mother twice a week, she develops uncomfortable sores that could become infected. I mean, she's sudden up pretty good, but at the same time, how sanitary can it be if that's where you use the bathroom, but you're also, like, scrubbing your back? It can't be sanitary. Also, how do they not get the bed wet doing this? Like, that bed just has to be musty and gross, but I guess you make do with what you got. It's crucial that Gina cleans between the areas of excess flesh. But as the combined weight of her mother's breasts, arms, and legs is hundreds of pounds, Dominique's extreme weight is anchoring her body to the bed. Everything she needs has to be brought to her by one of her daughters or has to be within arm's reach. And now it's like I'm being the mother to my own mother. Poor kid. She's 14 years old. She look like 20 years old. Gina's... I do not see a 20-year-old when I look at that girl. I look at a 14-year-old who's missing a lot of her childhood taking care of you. So you might want to get on this ASAP so she can get back to living her life and being a kid like she's supposed to be. His older sisters are also concerned. They spent years looking after their mother. Years There's a TV. Never get back. At graduation, you see friends stand up with their mother. We never had our mom that stand up with us. We never had a childhood. She been bed bound forever. Dominique wasn't. Damn, she looks a lot like her daughter, doesn't she? Always this big. Born in Haiti 40 years ago, she was a normal weight as a teenager. But just after she got married at the age of 14, Dominique left Haiti for America, and her way- Oh shit, we did it to another one. Oh, the Ronald McDonald gets another one. He's catching bodies out here, one double at a time. Damn, now I know why people are like, oh, all you Americans are fat. It's because everybody moves here, and they just go out of control with, like, all the food and processed and fast food. Weight increased. When I was coming to America, I was sexy. But the food made me big. I eat like junk food. Every day I can eat two double cheeseburger, three double cheeseburger for one day. Dominique was regular. Uh, that's a lot more than two or three doubles. That might account to like three or four hundred, but this lady probably had like six triples. Let's be real here. Like, I think people really underestimate the amount it takes to get to this state. I know, I friggin' did it. And I ate a lot of 20 pieces along with two McDoubles at a time. Regularly eating over 4,000 calories a day. Twice the recommended intake for women. More than that. Eventually, her partner of 17 years left her. Aww. My baby daddy didn't get me, I was a skinny. 100 something, I stay with him. 200, I stay with him. 400 pounds, he stay with him. Like seven, 600 pounds, he left. 
Now Dominique's he probably had to get up out of there because, like, clapping or making the beast with two backs became a life-or-death mission. Because you were trying to smother him every time. He'd probably be a really good freediver now that I think about it, because he holds his breath a lot. Meals are cooked and bought for her by her six daughters. 20-year-old Tassilia has tried to encourage Dominique to eat more healthy food, but her sisters find it hard to say no to their mother. Anything she asks for, they'll give it to her just so that she won't be mad. And she like everything fried. She don't like anything baked or boiled. They Who get her fried plantains, potato chips. She drink a lot of soda. She wouldn't drink no water, nothing that's good for her. Dominique can't give up the high fat foods and drinks that form her diet. Oh my gosh, she took all the meat or whatever, so she had to scoop one back for her daughter. That's a new level of greedy. Gotta feed your kids. There's a reason they're so damn skinny. And then we got you right there. You just give them a little bit out of each. Oh, that's so petty. To compensate, she's reduced the number of meals she eats. When? Why? I don't want to be more big. But eating just one meal a day hasn't reduced her weight. And she I don't buy that shit for a second. There's a whole damn pallet of cup noodles right next to you. What the hell is that orange thing? Oh my god, I don't even want to know what that thing looks like. Uh-oh. I don't think we're allowed to show that. You think she knows why? Dominique believes there is something medically wrong with her, a belief strengthened by a recent downturn in her health. She needs help. It's not good for her to stay on the barricade, do stuff on her own. Increasingly, Dominique is struggling for breath. We gotta always wake up throughout the night to make sure she's breathing. Because she's so big, her heart can stop at any time. Time is right. Could you imagine what kind of hell that is for those kids, though, to have to check and make sure their mom's breathing through the night? Also, I don't think all these cans of raids around, like raid laying around by the bed and stuff, are doing anything to help her lungs if she's spraying all that stuff in a room where fans are blowing it in her face. Running out for Dominique and her daughters. Girls up right there. Coming up, help finally arrives for Dominique. Uh, but can six paramedics even get her out of the house? Should have brought seven. 40 year old Dominique Lenois is morbidly obese. My life is finished. My life is over. <sighs> For the last 20 years, she's been getting bigger and bigger. And if my mom is obese, she used to be able to take steps to the bathroom, but now she got big and now she can't walk no more. I think that feeling that like there's no hope or there's no chance for you to turn things around is a pretty common feeling for people that have been over 600 pounds. But then again, like, not a lot of people have experienced that, but it's just a total level of hopelessness where there's no hope for tomorrow and you're just stuck in this body. It's Monday morning in the Lenoise household. 14-year-old Gina should be going to school, but not today. Her mother's been struggling to breathe through the night and has asked Gina to stay and look after her. It's the rate. Older sister Jelloey heads out to school without her. No, no, people are shooting them, please. No, no, please come in, I can breathe. Dominique's difficulties with breathing are partly caused by excess fat on her neck and chest, which is constricting her airways and lungs. Oh my god, she's getting choked out by her chesticles. That's insane. Also, her poor daughter missing school and missing all the things she should be able to go do and just have a normal life. 
Also, this woman's got a knife right next to her. Who the hell is she getting ready to shank? She is being suffocated by her own body. Oh, yeah, please have fish, please. Or is that for and food? And the attacks are getting worse each time. My body hit me some taffy tire. And I'm sleeping. I can't breathe. Oh, God. It's a bad situation for me. It's a bad situation. It ain't With good. 300,000 premature deaths in the U.S. each year being linked to obesity, Dominique's body has become a ticking time bomb. When you've been gaining weight slowly over a number of years, it almost creeps up on you, the disability. First, you just can't get around as well. And then you need a slightly bigger chair. And then your joints start to hurt, but you can't quite recall how long they've been hurting. So you just learn to live with it. To add to that, it kind of does creep up on you, but at a certain point, you just get to a point where you're like, okay, screw it. Like, I know that I'm so far gone, and I'm just not going to keep track of it. So there's a lot of just lack of give a damn that kind of gets you to that point. But, yeah, no, it, it gets pretty bad. I was at work thinking about what if she died and I'm not there. With Dominique's health getting worse by the day, her daughters were able to get in touch with a local hospital that's prepared to take her case. Is Dr. Now here? They don't make Hoover for the hefties. I don't think they can lipo out 600 pounds. I don't know how much they could do at a time, but I think that's asking for a little bit too much. I think they do like 30 pounds. If I know, because I wanted lipo too, trust me. I was thinking the easy way out sounded pretty damn good to me too. Today she's going for a weigh-in that she hopes will change her life. If she's under 500 pounds, she could be eligible for aggressive weight loss surgery. But with no one sure just how much she weighs, the hospital has sent three ambulances and six crew members to lift her out of the house. They rolled up with a convoy like this is Morbid Max, like forget Mad Max, we've got Morbid Max. They're rolling up there three deep. Hi Dominique, how are you doing? My name is Chris, part of your transport team. Are you able to um, maneuver at all? No, not at all. Okay. Okay, we'll be right back. It's been months since Dominique last left the house. And in that time, she's been getting bigger and bigger. I don't know, but that one guy's arms don't look equipped for 600 pounds. That guy right there, second from the left, he looks like he's prepared. Like he's been training for this. Buddy in the back, you're going to have a long day. The team has brought a gurney that they believe can hold her weight but it's too wide to fit through Dominique's hallway. Now the only way they can get her out is by dragging her on a tarpaulin. Lay back. Yeah, just like that. Oh, God. Do you want to... You guys ready? One, two, three. Please. You're not going to fall. You're not going to fall. I got you. There you go. You're Damn, on he's a strong little safe. guy. Ready? One, two, three. Too wide to fit down her hallway. All right. Dominique accidentally knocks her foot against the wall. To be fair, who's in charge of construction of this house? Because that's a narrow hallway. I don't think if you're much over 300, you're getting down that hallway very easy without knocking some pictures off the wall. <laughs> It's like fat tug of war. Put me down, Finally yeah. outside, curious neighbors are anxious to get a glimpse of Dominique. She's been hidden in her house. 
To be fair, Lady back there in the orange was not far behind her, so I don't think she should be staring and gawking at anybody. Curious neighbors are anxious to get a glimpse of Dominique. Yep. She's been hidden in her house for so long, few people even know that she's become this big. Yeah, it was really embarrassing, and you know how big she is for the paramedics to come and get her, and you'll see people in the neighborhood trying to look. That hurt me the most. If she don't choose to be overweight, she don't choose to be obese, it just happened. Uh, it doesn't just happen. And also, I don't think anybody was fooled. There was like a four foot wide wheelchair out front. Like, people knew it was bad. At the Jackson North Medical Center, a room has been organized for Dominique. She's pinning her hopes on bariatric surgery and an operation to reduce the size of her stomach, allowing only minimal hey, me too. food intake. But all surgery is dangerous. Bro, that Ronald McDonald tattoo on her arm just tells me that she came to America and got totally Americanized. If you got the clown on your arm, like the MCP, the McDonald's clown posse, I know you're going hard in the McDonald's paint. And there's a maximum weight limit. Weight loss surgery, obesity surgery, the risk of death complications goes up exponentially as people Boo. get heavier and heavier. And Doctor now. Although there are bariatric surgeons who will do patients seven, eight, hundred pounds I won't I have a cutoff of 500 pounds because at that point I think the risk is not low it's high but it's acceptable until recently because you're not a member of the fat Avengers and you're not going to get invited with that kind of attitude Dominique could only guess how much she weighs now her future is about to be decided in pounds and ounces Dominique you're on a bed that's gonna weigh you so you know when I hit zero it's gonna tell me what you weigh Okay, the weight is. Oh, they blue balled us. Coming up, Dominique gets a massive shock. <laughs> and can a weight loss expert turn her life around? What do you think about taking your life? Yes. My job is to get you out of here. That's sad. Don't make a permanent decision for something you can fix. Dominique Lenois is so obese, she can't walk. Nobody knows how much she weighs, and every day she's getting bigger. But today, she's got an appointment at a hospital that has a set of scales powerful enough to take her weight. Dominique, you're on a bed that's gonna weigh you. So, you know, when I hit zero, it's gonna tell me what you weigh. If she is less than 500 pounds, she can move forward with weight loss surgery and perhaps that's a whole lot of wishful thinking because i don't see any way she's under 600 i mean she probably she looks like to me she's closer to seven but i'm really bad at this i don't know i can't guess anybody's weight i'm always so far off when we watch my 600 pound life a last chance to live a normal life okay the weight is 606. That's about what I was. 606.9. Dominique is 106 pounds over the maximum operative threshold. 106 pounds she'll have to lose before any surgery can be considered. Her hopes for a quick fix have been crushed. Don't cry. Please. I think everyone thinks the surgery is a quick fix. It's not. There's still a lot of friggin' work involved. But I, when I saw 605 on mine, I was like, huh, I thought it would have been more. She's been waiting for this thing for years. Dr. Sosa steps in to try and reassure Dominique. I've had people before who've been 6, 650, 700 pounds that we have put on diets and, and plants, and they've been able to get but down to 500. don't work for me. The diet don't work because I'm trying all the diet. We will help you along the road, but you're the one that has to do most of the work. I think the misconception that diets don't work for you is just because you're so used to cheating on diets or being on the seafood diet where, like, you see food, you eat it, and that's probably the favorite diet of most 600-pounders. Because I know, that was the diet I was on. Yeah, I wanted her to be 300 or 200. Because I don't like to see her in the condition that she's in. 
Oh, she said I would like for her to be. I thought she said she was going to be like 300. I'm like, man, we need to get this chick's eyes checked ASAP. Back at home, Dominique is devastated. For years, she's pinned her hopes on surgery and now can't face the prospect of losing over 100 pounds through dieting. Her biggest problem is that the thing that is killing her is the thing she loves the most, food. I love shrimp, white rice. Me too. Seafood, everybody loves seafood. Told you seafood mm -hmm. diet. So good, Asian food so good. Dominique's love of food has made her morbidly obese. But it's not a fact she's ready to acknowledge. I mean, what do you expect to happen when you're sitting there playing, like, Pirates of the Diabetes the whole time down there in the Caribbean? Like, this is ha this is where that leads, right here. You so big, I would stop it. I see myself getting bigger. Why does somebody continue to eat and eat? We can all think about a time when we overate. And if you think about what that's like, that feeling, most people say, oh, I felt a bit guilty. I said, well, what happens right before you felt guilty? Right before. Did you feel it? I don't think it made me feel that naughty, but I know that it tasted good. And I had a little bit of a joygasm when I ate, like, fried chicken or something. Incredible fullness. And it completely blots out anything else that's going on in people who have disordered eating. They use food as a way of coping with anxiety, with loneliness, and with stress. With no hope of imminent life-changing surgery, Dominique falls into depression. Did this lady just eat a square of white bread, or was there something stuck to that? Because that's probably how you ate all these damn carbs to get up here. Outside, as a hurricane gathers over Miami, inside the Lenois household, her six daughters are caught in the eye of the storm. Yes, Mom. She called me all the time. I was stressed. She stressed me. Mind, that's not the point. So roll her ass outside. There's a hurricane. Let her have some soap. Do whatever. Do her little, like, shower in a show. But also, what would happen if it started to flood? Because there's no way that they're getting a boat in there to get her out. So she's just going to have to, like, sink or swim, baby. Like, this is your life. Your head, that, head, that has nothing to do with everything else. Dominique's behavior is driving away the people she most depends on. Her daughters. Fabienne, 24, is finding it particularly difficult. Because if you give me respect, you go give me respect. How? If you... I don't even live here. Let me just take your anger out. Oh, yeah, that's true, Mai. She disrespecting us, talking to us any kind of way, do whatever she want with us, and we just listening to her. Everybody says she got good daughters, but she don't see that. But just when the... She's kind of reminding me of Cartman right now with, like, the respect my daughter, but... I also saw a comment the other day where someone said I sound like Chris from Family Guy, and now I just think that I sound like the Family Guy son all the damn time. Noise family think they've hit rock bottom. Help is on its way. Dr. Hernandez, a weight loss expert who does home visits, has been asked to take on Dominique's case. The success rate on this kind of a program is almost 100%. Dr. Hernandez has treated many super obese patients, but Dominique is the biggest he's ever encountered. Hey, young lady. Yes, good morning. How are you, Mama? I'm okay, Doc. I am the voice in the desert. Mm -hmm. You must listen to me. Mm -hmm. I will tell you which way to go, and you're not going to mm -hmm. fail. What are you thinking about? That's sounding kind of culty to me. This is uh, starting off a little weird, but 100% success rate? I'm going to hear you out, Doc. I keep thinking every day. What do you think about taking your life? Yes. Listen to me. You've been shut in this prison for two years, right? This room is not your future. Your future is out there. My job is to get you out of here, all right? It's not going to be fast, but you have to do what I tell you. Dr. Hernandez has asked Dominique and her daughters to show him a food diary, a list of what she eats and drinks through a typical week. He 
This guy's giving me, like, preacher vibes, like he's going to baptize me with biscuits or something, but uh, I don't think that's her food journal. That seems like a lot less food than I know I was eating, and I don't think that she's, like, very far behind. No, I don't know. She's bedridden. I was almost bedridden. Shocked. Every day I see that you're having one meal. Is that what you're eating? One meal. So yeah. on Friday, we had lemonade as your food and some salty crackers. And on Saturday, you had grilled fish and four corns on the cob. Sunday, two cans of chicken soup, diet lemon juice, and water. Monday, we had a Subway foot long and a Diet Coke. Tuesday, we had chicken and rice. Wednesday, you had chicken soup with crackers. How many damn crackers? Because if that's her diet, she's going to need an awful lot of saltines that like maintain that kind of water weight. If there's three boxes of saltines, I might buy this. What we are dealing with here is not insufficient food. I think your metabolic rate has shut down for a number of reasons. One of them is that you eat one time a day. Under Dr. Hernandez's weight loss program, three meals totaling only 700 calories will be delivered to Dominique's house every day a third of her normal daily intake. Eating smaller meals more frequently should raise her metabolism and eat away at the fat reserves. Assuming her family doesn't bring her other stuff and assuming that she eats what I give her, the calories are in the bank. For the first time in years, Dominique feels hopeful. I was too busy skinny, I was to try five. You know, five with the meat, five. Don't fight the meat. We're going to end up with daughter number seven. But yeah, that's the right attitude. Keep trying. Push forward. Like, don't let the situation you've got yourself into just be the end of your story. There's a whole lot of chapters left to write if you just keep working. Took off in the skinny. But don't fight the meat. Before she can start her weight loss program, Dominique must have a full medical checkup at the Jackson South Community Hospital. For the first time, Doctors will have a chance to thoroughly investigate what's going on inside Dominique and make sure she has no underlying medical complications. Good morning, Ms. Langlois. How are you this morning? I'm Dr. Pancorbo. Very nice to meet you. With this detailed and thorough workup, we're going to be able to determine what has been the impact of the morbid obesity in her heart, the lungs, the kidneys, the liver, as well as the, uh, the bones. Back at home, Dominique's daughters are hopeful their lives Oh my god, you broke her arm washing those massive melons. How the hell did you do that? Your poor daughter. They're about to change. Well, we're cleaning up and we're like remodeling her room. We're just fixing everything up. So when she comes, she can see like a surprise. Oh. Yes, we're thinking about our new life. We're going to have a fresh start for the first time in 17 years. We're going to have a mother. Dr. That's Hernandez nice. has arranged a new bed for Dominique. Complete with built-in scale, it will allow the family to weigh her once the diet begins. Well, I think she wants to be more comfortable and anything that makes her happy makes me happy. Although I know that I was like, when I started dieting and losing weight, I became obsessed with the scale. So now I only weigh myself like once a week or every other week. Just because that level of obsession is not healthy for your own mental state. I was literally like taking a pee and then jumping back on the scale to see how much weight I lost. It was getting insane. The hospital has completed all the tests on Dominique. Daughter Tessilia has come along to be with her mother when she gets the results. Little man. Now, for the first time, they're about to find out what Dominique's massive weight is doing to her body. Ain't nothing nice. Coming up. If we don't take care of your health aggressively, you may die within the next few years. Go fight to do something. It's not easy, but I'm go fight. Okay. Ding, ding. Dominique Lenois is super morbidly obese. Now, a full medical checkup is about to reveal the shocking effect Dominique's weight has had on her body. Good morning. Good morning. We have done x-rays, we have done ultrasounds, and extensive blood work. 
we have found so far there is congestion of the lungs where the, the heart is not pumping strong enough for her body size and for her body weight and then uh, for that reason she accumulates fluid in her lungs which is called pulmonary edema. With the excessive amount of weight that she has, that's too much pressure, too much fat on the heart. Unless Okay, so she's basically drowning because she just has too much weight on her, her heart can't keep up. That's what I was like most fearful of. And then all my labs kept coming back and saying I was all right, just very fat. And I kept telling them like, these can't be my labs. Something else has to be going on. Like I have to be on death's door. You don't get this size without that happening. But yeah, I dodged that bullet somehow. I don't know how, but sounds like she didn't. Unless we do something drastically, unless we put him on a very strict diet uh, so she could uh, safely undergo surgery, she may die within the next few years. Dominique's body mass index, a calculation of body fat based on height and weight, is 101. Shockingly for her. Yeah, I knew it was going to be up there because I think I did the math once and her weight's about the same as mine and I realized I would have had to be 11 inches shorter just in order to be up over 100 with my BMI because mine was 73.8. A BMI of just 40 can reduce life expectancy by 10 years. It should be the wake-up call Dominique needs, but she seems unwilling to take the message in. I don't want to die. I'm too pretty to die yet. <laughs> I look good. I know I look good. But I want to come and be sexy. Because I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you very much. You look good. You're pretty. <laughs> Let me talk. Oh, Doc, she's trying to work on kid number seven with you. You better hop up in that bed, give her a little ride on the merry-go-round, some wakey-wakey exit. No, no exit, Becky. She's on a diet. You can't give her breakfast in bed. She doesn't acknowledge 100% that we're dealing with a deadly disease, that we're dealing with a change in her habits completely. Otherwise, she may die within the next uh, few years. Dominique's denial is typical of many patients suffering with a food disorder. I mean, denial is simply a way of saying that it's too painful for us to actually acknowledge that something is a problem. Because to acknowledge something is a problem is then to acknowledge that there's a possibility of change. And change is going to be very, very difficult. Dominique may not have taken the doctor's warning seriously, but her daughter, Tessilia, has. This is her last chance for us to help her to lose the weight, because if we do not help her lose the weight and to get the, uh, to get the surgery done, we just, oh, the only thing we could do is just watch her die slowly. Yeah, it's a tough situation for them to be in, because their mother's going to keep yelling, like, bring me this, bring me that, because she's stuck in bed, but they're going to have to be like, well, we can't, because we don't want to watch you fade away slowly. So I imagine that she's just going to give them absolute hell because her blood sugar's dropping. She can't handle it. But also that food in the hospital looked like a hell of a lot more than 700 calories. It looked like she even had a piece of pie up in there. After two days in the hospital, Dominique is due home. Fabienne has decided to be at her mother's house to welcome her when she arrives. The 24-year-old hasn't always gotten along with her mom. You brought the colonel to the house of somebody on a diet? Are you trying to go to war, bringing the colonel? She's going to kill your ass. She wants that chicken. Today, she wants to heal the wounds. Today, yeah, my mom is coming, so we'll wait and see what's yet to come with the drama. I hope she likes the bed. You got it? One, two, three. It's the first time Fabienne has seen her mother being brought back from the hospital, and she is overwhelmed. Ready? One, two, three. Don't worry. It's okay. The people are saying these small people. The people know are big, man. You guys have some. I'm trying to help you, you ungrateful. And I also just saw she has a bottle of ranch on her dresser. But there's a reason that they're hiding the kernel under the strainer. So I get it now. They're trying to hide it so she don't even know it's there. Make sure you got it so we're, she won't We're going to get her. We're going to get her. Him. That's why we did this one. Three. Okay. 
too crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Seeing Fabienne break down hurts Dominique. She cried. Cut me on my mom. Don't cry. Cut me on. I definitely saw that damn ranch, but of course your kids are going to have a hard time looking at you like that. Finally, the reality that she could die in her 40s hits home. Nini, I don't want to die yet. I'm fine for my life. <laughs> now I'm going to fight to do some bed. It's not easy, but I'm going to fight. You better be ready to fight. It's the first day of Dominique's diet. Three meals totaling 700 calories a day are delivered direct to her house. If she sticks to it and avoids any other food, she should eventually lose the 100 pounds necessary to receive weight loss surgery. But Dominique doesn't like the meals. This is the diet food. I don't know where that food comes from. What's wrong with that? You said you only ate like two cans of chicken noodle. That's chicken noodle, right? So according to you, this is all you were eating anyway. It's just a little less sodium, probably. I ate that food. Killing no good. I don't like it. I put it in the garbage. You gonna be hungry? I got water. I know water. I can't eat it. I can't. It's not grease. It's water. I can't eat it. So suck it up. She refuses to eat the diet meal and starts asking her daughters for their food. You know her daughter's enjoying every second of this because her mom's always yelling this and that. She comes in there eating a damn cracker. She's totally messing with her. Oh, I hate Fabian. Fabian coming with food. How is... Oh, she don't give me to me. Between bread... The girls won't give in to their mother. By the end of the day, she's starving and has to eat the diet food, all three meals, in one sitting. Hey, good for you. It goes against everything she's been told. Eating one large meal instead of three smaller ones is lowering her metabolism and increasing her weight. But it's still better than just letting her have the damn cracker. At least she's eating the diet food, even if it's not as she's supposed to. Six days later, Dominique is still struggling with the diet. The sudden shift from eating 2,000 calories a day to just 700 is making her crave junk food. Yeah, she always... Also, why are we nuking it with the plastic? Are we trying to take our mom out a little bit sooner so she can't yell at us? Because I don't think you're supposed to do that. Asking for other type of food that I know she can't eat. Like, if I'm eating a pizza, she'll ask or she'll say that she wants Chinese food, stuff like that, or Haitian food. If I'm eating it, she'll want it. But I have to tell her no. I don't like to tell her no because she's my mother, but now... I'm trying to help her stick to the diet. Of course, but if you've talked to anybody that's chubby, Chinese food is like always their favorite. I love me some damn Chinese food. But it's not easy when her mother begs. Give me some lumbi, please. Mom, you can't eat it. Give me peace. Can I have some? Mom, you can't eat it and I'm not going to give it to you. You're so mean, God. Eat the diet food. To help manage her hunger, Dominique has been prescribed appetite suppressants. They should stop her from wanting food, but desperate for surgery, she ignores the doctor's prescription. I'm supposed to take two, but I'm taking five. Because I'm oh, no Yeah, I drink the pill. Is this lady trying to get zooted on some Wagovi or something? Because I don't think you can get a buzz off of any trim spa or anything. Or else everybody would be lining up buying these damn diet pills. No, I check two. You check two? Yes. Yes. Taking this many pills isn't good for her and won't help her lose the weight any faster. But that's not what Dominique thinks. I need a dream come true for me. I need to go to the surgery quick, quick, quick. Because
You can wish upon a star, sweetheart. It don't make it work any faster. You're going to have to actually diet and get down because your surgeon said you had to be under 500. It's not the quick fix everybody thinks it is. There's some work involved beforehand. I need to come skinny. With Dominique's first weigh-in just around the corner, her diet is already in danger of failing. Already? Coming up, Dr. Hernandez arrives to weigh Dominique. Let's get rid of everything that's on this bed and get a number. And her diet implodes. Last night I sort of caught her eating fried shrimp. I don't know. Oh shit, Mary Popeye slid down the chimney. Damn it, what are you going to do with the obesity angels coming there to weigh you? Like, this guy's supposed to be your weight loss dream come true, and you're sitting here sliding like fried shrimp through... Somebody had to give that to her. Or who gave it to her through the damn window? Will Uber Eats, like, deliver through a window? If you put in the comments, just slide through the window, you'll see a big hand reach out to stick it right in there? No, who gave it to her? That's what she said. 40-year-old Dominique Lenoise weighs 606 pounds. The same size as five women of the average healthy weight for her height. Now she's on a life-saving diet in a desperate bid to lose 100 pounds to be accepted for weight loss surgery. It has been two weeks since the start of the diet, and Dr. Hernandez has arrived for a first weigh-in. Uh -oh. Knocky, knocky. Good morning, doctor. How are you, young lady? I'm with you, bud. Well, let's get rid of everything that's on this bed and get a number. It's the moment the family has been waiting for. Whoa, this pillow weighs like eight pounds. Dominique is anxious to know if she's lost any weight. All right. 579.5. Okay, let's go. That's what, 28 pounds? That's pretty damn good. And so it hadn't been that long since she started, so she is actually sticking to her diet. It's very good. You're doing good. Okay, so we got 31 pounds in about two weeks. Did you ever expect to lose 31 pounds in two weeks? What did you expect to lose? 28? <laughs> she thought she was going to lose 100 pounds. In a week? Well, I can give you a sleeping pill and you can dream if you like. To help shed even more weight, Dr. Her I wouldn't do that. This lady's going to take five of those suckers, too, and end up in, like, a weight loss coma or something. Hernandez wants Dominique to start exercising in her bed. Your arms, Mommy. Ten times backwards. Thank you. Okay. Ten times up and down. She had the Ten then you do it five times. Then you do it three times. I think we've done a lot of bedroom cardio in her life. I'm telling her to exercise in bed, probably not the best idea but uh flap her wings in bed sure like that's not that bad that's an exercise you can do when you're stuck in bed times and you do it however many times you need i'm your weight loss angel and you need to follow my instructions follow. i'm not here to waste my time I okay beelzebub but you have to do what i tell you now if y'all lose the 100 112 pounds i say with 500 i can get this surgery. that's correct okay i'll go fine doctor See you next week. Dr. Hernandez is pleased with Dominique's weight loss, but remains cautious. Much of what she's lost, maybe 10 or 12 pounds, is going to be just water weight from getting rid of ex excess water. So we won't see this kind of weight loss all the time. In I mean, according to her, you guys were flooding her food with water anyway, so we can't put it all on water weight. She's actually doing some work here. Inspired by her mother's success, Daughter Tessilia has started her own health and fitness regime. 33% of children growing up with a chronically overweight parent also become obese. And Tessilia doesn't want to become a statistic. I'm trying to get on a diet and try to educate myself what to eat and what not to eat. Because I do not want to be obese like my mother. Obesity runs on my, in my family, period. Okay, like him, like him. Alright, now the kids are having some fun with it. Everybody's trying to get on the train. It's always good when everyone kind of works together. You can do it yourself, but everybody pushing you forward and kind of motivating you probably is what's best for her. I don't know. I felt like I could do it myself, but I wish a lot of people in my family would start to be a little more health conscious. 
It's week three of Dominique's diet. She needs to lose another 80 pounds if she's ever going to get the weight loss surgery she desperately wants. You're popping out. Four, three, four. She's been doing the exercises Dr. Hernandez has ordered her to do. But she's craving the sugar high diet and carb rich foods she's been used to eating. Give me some, Mama. Mm -mm. Please. Mm -mm. Give me some. No, Mom. There's got to be part of them that enjoys just rubbing that in her face. What we know about junk foods is that they have a, a very pleasurable effect on our body, that the brain responds to them in the same way that perhaps um, alcohol or cocaine or those types of drugs affect people, that it, it simulates the reward center and it sets into motion kind of a pattern for dysfunctional eating. You tell me I was going in the carb climax every time I had a Pop-Tart? Well, yeah, I mean, I guess. Something popped almost, if that's the case. And like any addict, Dominique soon finds a way of getting what she wants. Last night I sort of caught her eating fried shrimp with biscuit and mashed potatoes. She had a little iced tea in the corner of the bed. I don't know when she'll ever learn. Well, I don't know who gave it to her. I thought it was... Where'd she get the Popeye's pick-me-up if it won one of you? And she's got to have somebody on the outside. Like, somebody that works at Popeye's is slide that through her window. And she's bribing them, too. I wonder how much of their cash goes out that window for some Popeye's. Or where the hell she hides the fried shrimp. Because if it's in her prison pocket, that's not a good look. But at least it's warm, I guess. It was one of my sisters. The diet is broken. Guilt-ridden at eating food she shouldn't. And frustrated at not getting the junk meals she craves. Dominique turns her anger on her daughters. I don't want nobody to stay in the house. Please, tell everybody to stay away. No kids don't have no respect. No kids don't clean. She's furious that the girls haven't cleaned the house. And You can disown your kids if they don't give you dessert. Also, how the hell would she know if it's clean? Does she have like a RC car with a camera? Because there's no way she would know the rest of the house is dirty. I think she's just mad that she's not getting her way when she wants to cheat on her diet. Wants them to leave. I don't know kids in my life. Please. The kids don't have no respect for mama. The kids don't see where I'm sick from. The kids don't care for me, please. I don't know, I don't know what happened to her. She woke up on the wrong side of the bed. But 16-year-old Jelloey believes her mother's outburst isn't really... Damn, that's how you know you like food. You named your kid after food. Her name is Jello. ...about the state of the house. I think it does has to do with her diet because now she just wakes up and just starts to argue for no reason. One of the psychological rationales for these types of diets is that they remove the what they call the substance of abuse. And that can be very, very challenging for people who have always gone to food. You know, something bad happens, I feel something bad, I eat, it goes away. It's as if the world has ended. This is the way some of these adults feel. Okay, just out, just out now. When the children... Damn, this lady got possessed by the diet demon and started kicking people the hell out. She's devious. Ignore her orders to leave the house. Dominique takes drastic action. I'm going to call police to my wife. No police, I need police. Coming up, the police arrive. To push her stuff out. But it's Dominique who gets busted. Babalu, what is this? Are you drinking that stuff? I don't lie, I'm big woman. Oh shit, you called the obesity police and your ass got caught slipping by the obese angel. Dominique has to lose weight, or she could be dead within two years. After just two weeks of dieting, she's gone from 606 pounds to 579, a loss of almost 30 pounds. But after three weeks of living without junk food, Dominique's behavior becomes wildly unpredictable. Now she's called the police because she claims her daughters haven't cleaned the house. I'm going to walk to push her stuff out. 
tonight nobody sleeping there. It's an unfortunate situation, but you gotta understand my my powers are limited. I can't make them clean, okay? And I can't kick them out today. You okay, have to get on the bench. I'm trying to work. I so that's work. all I can do. Better move. Uh, Damn, she's really trying to kick him out so she can have her way with it, whatever food she wants tonight. Because nobody could stop her. But then again, nobody could bring it to her either. So, uh, I don't know where she saw the dust bunny, but it brought the devil out in her. Finally, Dominique backs down, and the police leave. But the fight has left her older daughters ready to walk out. Like what you said, we just need to move out and stay out of her way and let her live by herself. Let her have her way and see how long it lasts. That's our life. A monster mom. She is pretty mean though when she don't it's get her four way. weeks after the diet began. And Dominique is due to have her weekly weigh-in with Dr. Hernandez. She's optimistic about the amount of weight she has lost. I think I lose 79 pounds, 79, 9 pounds. Uh, I don't think that much, but she could have easily lost another 20 or 30. Before he arrives, she's hidden a bottle of soda. Dr. Hernandez has ordered her to drink only water. I drink juice. He tell me don't drink juice. Don't How hurt are you, yourself. Mama? I'm okay, bro. Let's get rid of everything that's on this bed and get a number. Mama, do not move. Okay, so we have to, okay, 582. So then you went down to 579, and now we're 582. Oh, shit. Incredibly, Dominique has gained three pounds since the last weigh-in. It's not supposed to come up, it's supposed to come down. You're not doing what <laughs> I tell you. You're doing whatever you want. But Dominique is... That juice will get you right in the jiggle. There's a lot of sugar in there, and it'll come right back on you. Convinced the scales on her bed are broken. This is not good. This thing no good, don't believe me. But then Dr. Right? Hernandez sees the soda she's tried to hide. His worst fears are confirmed. Babalu, what is no, this? This is for my dog. Die. I don't like you. You tell the doctor I drink it. You see, I don't drink it. You make me nervous now. Excuse me, doctor. You Whenever the doctor realizes it's the brisk in the corner and not the batteries in the scale. That's hilarious. Oh my god. Make me nervous, believe me. I don't lie, I'm a big woman. Mama, are you drinking nervous. that stuff? No, doctor, I'm so the way I don't drink it. I love myself. I don't want people lying to me. I don't like it. Okay. Who are you going to listen to? Listen to you? That's not what you're doing. I do it, I do it. Believe me, I do it. It's very difficult to believe that with the meal plan that we are supplying, she's not losing weight and if she's gaining weight for sure she has to be ingesting other food other things that people are giving her until she starts helping herself or that eight pound pillow was there and we didn't take it off i'm blaming the pillow when it comes to this one he can't help her i'm a doctor i'm not a magician you know i can't wave my magic wand and and make people do what i tell them to do Maybe she's not. Why not? Dominique is a long way away from her dream of quick fix surgery. I mean, to be fair, I think most people in this situation just expect somebody to Harry Houdini the heft away. It just don't work that way. She's going to have to work, and I was so bad I had some juice, really ain't going to get her there. I don't know when she'll ever learn. I would have said that. Maybe when she can't walk or she's stuck on a bed, but that's already happening right now. So I doubt that her diet is going to go well in the future. With 95% of all dieters rapidly putting back on the weight they have lost, Dominique faces an uphill battle. What you see is that lots of people do lose weight initially, but not many people keep weight off because the psychological issues have not been addressed and then they'll go back to using yeah your mental and your physical health are very tied together i call it yo-yo dieting where you go up and down and you just can stick to a strict diet for a while but you can't keep it up forever because you turn back to food did that for a very long time before i started to get it right using food in the same way during times of loneliness stress and anxiety but she dominique is still determined to lose the weight 
If you need something, you suppose fight for that. Like Obama Nick the president, he fight. And you want to be something in your life, you suppose fight for that. How we go from obesity to Obama? And this lady's always sitting here talking about fight, 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 like she's the Mike Tyson of tacos or something. You need to fight and fight to stay on your diet and stay off the damn juice. It's not easy, but I'm going to fight for that. For Dominique, dieting down to 500 pounds is going to be a marathon, not a sprint. But recent weigh-ins have been encouraging. She's gradually losing more weight, edging closer to surgery and perhaps a new life. For her daughters, the dream that their mother will walk again one day is getting nearer. If I become the dancer that I want to be, she could sit in the audience and screaming out my name saying, oh, that's my daughter, like other mothers be doing for their child. I think one I really hope that she gets to experience that because she seems like such a sweet girl. She deserves it. But, I mean, nobody can teach her, teach her mom how to cha-cha, weigh the calories, but her mom, she's going to have to want to be there for that dance recital. If she don't want it, she's just going to stay stuck in that damn bed saying, I was so bad, I had a little bit of juice. One day she would be sitting screaming out my name. I hope so, man. Stick to her diet. Psychologist is now working closely with the family. Bring in Dr. Now, the Fat Avenger. All right, well, I guess that's the end of that one. But I think this is just a common story that we hear over and over with people that get to this size. They lose hope. They don't see the light at the end of the tunnel or they're stuck in the tunnel and they can't get through it. So you're just going to have to hope for a brighter tomorrow. And there's going to be a lot of hard days where you're going to have to stick to a diet that you don't necessarily want to be on any longer. But if you keep sticking to it, I promise that there's a lot better like future ahead of you than the past behind you. You're not going to want to look back and see anything behind you, but it's going to be hard. But there's a lot of pressure involved, but I mean, pressure bursts pipes, but pressure also makes diamonds. So uh, which are you? Are you a pipe that's going to burst, or are you a diamond in the rough? So that's Dominique Lenoise, and that's a little bit of her story, and I wish her nothing but the best, and her family, because her girls seem really nice. But follow my Instagram and Twitter, Shauna Steele, with some underscores between it. And leave a like and leave a comment. It helps me out in the algorithm. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.